Howdy guys, welcome back. Jet Scott here as always and today we're going to show you some pretty nifty things you can do to your 70 and up Chrysler product, especially something with hidden headlights. I had to make everything a little bit better than factory. So let's get right into this. So as always guys, thank you for tuning into this video. Now let me just first show you something you definitely need to invest in. You can buy these from Jags or what is it, Classic Car Wiring. Um, these wiring diagrams, I bought this for my 70 Charger, bought one for my 73 Satellite, one for my 66 Dart, and one for my 70 Duster. Because, I don't know about you guys, but I've got a factory harness or a factory service manual and it's a pain in the butt sitting there trying to trace wires when they're all in black and white you get jumbled up and this is just so much easier on the eyes well worth the purchase i've used this thing extensively already on all the cars for a matter of fact and they're laminated they look pretty so but on to jezebel so one part on this car that i've always wanted to get work and it's never worked was the hidden headlight mechanism and it's just you know sat in a salvage yard got parted out for many many years and of course the original grill was long gone and I had made this grill out of a couple of parts grills I had and now it's got a grill and then I finally got a motor and the bracket and all the other stuff to get that wired up and working and I didn't do a video on that it was just one of those experiments um, I made a whole new harness for the hidden headlights it all snakes up into there and runs and right into the factory harness inside the dash and it works phenomenal it's, it's freaking killer. It's so awesome to watch those headlights flip up and down. Oh, the next thing I had to do was, well, and part of making that work was actually hooking up the factory relay. Now on a 70 and up Chrysler product, they have a special relay and breaker that plugs into the harness. I don't mind the wires hanging down. I gotta tape those up. Um, and I don't know where my relay went, but my buddy, Chris Birdsong, he gave me a 70 charger relay and circuit breaker and they were good but they sat around for so many years that eventually they ended up going bad and by going bad i mean the actual relay sounded like a maraca on the inside and i don't know about you guys but uh your electronics should not sound like maracas on the inside when they got little points and stuff in them so it was no good and uh, i had to actually break down and cut my unmolested 70 charger harness i spent a lot of money on and i went ahead and upgraded to a little five pin Bosch relay. And I will throw up the diagram here. And it's incredibly simple to wire. It just sucks having to cut all your factory plugs there. But this thing works so freaking awesome. And I'm pretty happy with it. In fact, let me just set you guys up and just show you that bad boy working. So you see how slow they open. Well, that's just because the car's not running. Let me fire up and we'll show you how they open when they're running. Yes, I know that park light's probably still out. So that's how they open and close now with that Bosch relay. I don't know how the factory relay would have worked if it would have been that fast or that slow, but uh, it's freaking killer. Must do. Like you have to do on your 70 and up Mopar with hidden end lights. And I always say 70 up because 70 is the first year to go standard with an electric headlight motor. 66, 67 was dual electric motors. Which is like how you do 68 and 69 conversions to get rid of the vacuum. And then 68 and 9 went back to a vacuum system, which in my opinion is vastly inferior. You should always have electric. And uh, so that works. That's freaking killer. I'm stoked. However, we still got one more thing we want to modify. And that's putting a relay system into our headlights that will give us more juice and make our headlights a little bit brighter at night. 
but we're going to keep factory headlights because well, all that fancy xenon and creon and crayola freaking halogen super brightness that that's all silly to me i like good old factory bulbs in my cars that nice kind of yellowy tint to them that's how it should be so let me go show you something we got in the mail Alrighty, so we got this package here from my good friend Rob at Jigs. And uh, I did that. Yeah, yeah. And it's supposedly for El Jezebel. Dang it, wind. How dare you? So, let's open this bad boy up and see what he sent us. Now, this is not actually from Jigs. This is from him as my friend to me, his other friend. I guess that's how that works. Very difficult to do. And I went ahead and I really wanted to open this on camera because uh, I was pretty certain he filled this thing full of glitter. I'm going to be really disappointed if this is not a glitter bomb. Um, I don't see any glitter. Rob, where's the glitter? Man, I know if I was going to send a gift to somebody, it would definitely be full of glitter. There is no way I would not pack it full of glitter. I know, that's my brother about his Christmas gift a couple years ago. He's still getting glitter out of that steering wheel. No glitter at all. Whoa, this is good. Oh, hang on. Okay, I had to get it all out of the box. As you can tell, Rob may work for a certain company. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. I love these business cards of yours. They are freaking awesome. And Rob sent us, actually, a headlight harness for Jezebel that runs the relays. This is a pre-made deal. I know you can do this yourself, but it's a pre-made plug-and-play harness. He had two of them, and uh, he's got one for his uh, coronet, and uh, he had ended up getting two of them, so he sent me one, so we're going to put this... Come on, dang it. There we go. <laughs> Doing this stuff one-handed is not easy. Oh, come on. Now it's not going to come out of the baggie. There it goes. This is actually a pretty nice little deal. It plugs right into your headlights. There's your relays. Rob, thank you. That's freaking awesome. Comes with zip ties. So we're gonna go put that on Jezebel just so that way we know we got super bright headlights at night. So this is the harness that Rob sent me and this is from Octane Lighting. You can buy these on Amazon for I think like $44. Um, really nice harness. What sucks is it don't come with any kind of dumb instructions. And for a guy like me where wiring is my bane of my existence, Kind of handy to have however one little google search figure out how to do it all you got to do is supply 12 volt power from the battery which is that guy right there kind of small in my opinion you got your grounds those go to your headlights and that guy goes to one factory headlight socket so that connects everything up and then all you got to do is screw those in place have your grounds that goes to the other side so we're gonna go wire this bad girl in see how it works Alrighty, so we know that the short side of the harness is over here. So we're going to say that guy goes over here. Our relays are going to sit over here. This will need to get routed to this side of the car. Uh oh, our battery's in the trunk. We're going to have to extend that guy. There's no way that's going to reach the firewall. We've actually got a. So the battery's in the trunk on our car. As you can see, there's no battery anywhere. No way to mount it. We deleted all that. But we got a main power lug up on the firewall, so we're going to run, we'll extend this wire, and uh, we'll run him all the way to the firewall. It's got a little fuse in there, pretty fancy, kind of chintzy feel. So, we're going to time lapse some of this, we'll get all this hooked up and see how it works. Alright, so we got this connector plugged into the high beam there. Let's see, so you got a high beam, which is three prong. And a little bean is two. So excuse the wind, it is incredibly windy today, so we've got just about everything kind of where we want it loosely. It's kind of a mess down in here. 
on both sides but everything's kind of where it needs to be we got a ground there grounded on that lug which is holding the relays in place and now we are getting ready to splice in we're actually ditching their wire guy because i just don't like the way it i don't like it so i got one of these right here much bigger wires on it and it's a little more flexible and it's just going to look cleaner because it's in line Alrighty, so this wire needs to run through here alongside everything we're going to need more armor and that's just got to run to that main power lug right there we'll have an inline fuse protect it and uh, we should be good to test everything stay tuned all righty well we're almost there so there's our wire job we're out of wire loom so that's why you can see that wire runs the main power lug runs all the way try to make it as clean as possible this is still a mess we need to fix all this and now we're gonna see if this works or if it burns my entire car to the ground and Say a prayer over fast. Let's see how this looks. Sorry for the wind. Okay, we're good. Whew. All right, well, I'm gonna let her warm up. And, uh, well, I've actually got clips where I started this car up the other night. So we'll be able to see what the lights look like in the day versus what they look like in the night, see if we actually got any games. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Overall, guys, I'm going to say that wiring harness that Rob sent me really paid off. Haven't reviewed the footage, but just looking at how bright the headlights are and watching Dad go, because he was standing out in the shadows and I turned the brights on, that was a very good investment. In fact, Dad went ahead and we got him one of them harnesses. They're 44 bucks on Amazon. Uh, if you're curious about it, it's Octane Lighting H4-4-RH right there. Not sponsored by them. I'm just going to probably read backwards, but uh, dang good kit. So that's for the dual headlights. So if you've got four headlights in totals, that's the one you need. If you need just two, I don't know which one you need. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's freaking awesome. And I know the one marker light's still out. I had it fixed this morning, and now it's not fixed again. So that's a job for another day. So thank you guys for checking this one out. Thanks again, Rob. And as always, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. So take care and... We say, Dad. Bye. Just bye. Bye bye. I said bye bye. Oh, I did think you had enough energy because you're all sleepy fied. Yeah, I'm ready to go to bed. Well, we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.